You guys, no. Oh my gosh. Me and Gabby. Me and Gabby were just. Bro, no. Me and, me and Gabby were just crying. I'm being so serious right now. Amen, bro. My knees are healed. My knees are healed. No. Nobody can tell me that God is not real. My knees are healed. My knees are healed. Oh my gosh. Amen, 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 amen. No, nobody can tell me Jesus isn't real. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Nobody can tell me Jesus isn't real. Hallelujah. hallelujah. My knees are healed. You are so good, God. You are so good. So good. So good. My knees are healed. You are so good, God. You are so good. Hallelujah. You guys don't understand. Amen, amen, amen. You don't understand. Amen, amen, amen. You don't understand the way I was struggled with my knees. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. And me and Gabby were praying. Amen. And my knees are healed. Amen. Oh my God. Nobody can tell me God isn't real. Don't tell me that. My knees are healed. What? I don't understand. My knees are healed, you guys. I don't understand. Well, I know I have struggled for years with my knees and me and Gabby were praying and we laid hands on my legs and my knees are healed like no Gabby listen come here no you don't understand the way they were cracking no 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 come here you knew you heard them no Gabby please come here come here come here come here please listen Gabby, come here. You don't hear them. No, it's not making any noise. No noise. No noise. You don't understand how much I struggled. You don't understand. And they're healed. What? No, 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 no. Jesus is Lord. No, Jesus is Lord. No, no. The healing power of Jesus. I'm so shook. He's the one. No. Prayers, real prayers, real prayers, real prayers, real. I felt him in my body. I felt him. I felt us connecting. You don't understand. Whoa. No, my heart. My my heart. My knees are healed. Oh my. Oh. oh my God. I don't understand. Oh my gosh!
Hey family, hey. it's Ashley and Gabby and I'm here, well we are here today to tell you guys a testimony of the goodness of God and the fact that he can still heal today. The same way he healed in the Bible, he can heal now. And I stand here firm in my belief and I'm here to tell you today that Jesus healed me. He healed me. And I was a witness. And she was a witness. <clears throat> and the power of connection. She laid hands on me. We laid hands together. We touched and agreed. And I stand here today healed. After seven years of dealing with knee problems that will go more into depth in this video, I, I am healed. And I am shook, <laughs> if we're being honest. No, literally, like, like, the whole experience is, like, so... It's like I wake up in the morning and I can't believe what just happened. Like, like the video is powerful. Um, if you're not a believer, um, it's going to be hard to watch the video and just, if you've never been touched by God, it'll just be hard, you know, all together because you just don't know like what he's capable of. And it's, and it still has me in awe. Like, I've been in the church for some years now, and um, I'm still shook. Like, yeah, I unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> and not, yeah, not even just, like, for non-believers. Like, I'm in disbelief. I wake up every morning, and, you know, I thought that initially that I had faith in Jesus, but now I'm starting to wonder, like, what was the level of my faith? Because in the moment that this occur occurred, um, my faith, was on a different level and I definitely understand now that faith is the key because if I would not have been able to receive if I have not been open to open my mind if I have not if I would not have been able to understand that he will do it again and again and again and again and again and he'll do it for me too then I would not have received this blessing like <laughs> Like you just kind of have to like, like laugh because like, it's like what? Like you hear you hear the stories. Like I've seen stuff like this happen to people. But I'm gonna be honest. I did not think that it could happen to me. And like I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. Like after the fact, I literally felt guilty. Like I I felt like the guilt i felt guilty. Like why me? And I know it's like I should. I felt great, but at the same time, it was like why me? Why would he choose me? to you know why i feel like, like it was you though because right now you have access like you just made your youtube you are part of a mega church and i feel like the potter's house of dallas <laughs> Amazing. Go ahead and add that in We just went to Colorado and Denver. visited Denver. Sarah Jane. Yeah, it was last weekend and we learned faith, family, amazing. and favor, the three keys. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. amazing. And even after that, I mean, just the whole trip of Colorado showed us a lot of favor. And even when we got back to Dallas, I mean, this whole experience is a whole nother different level of favor because you see... I mean, yes. God is working every day and you see it. You you hear people talking about, you know, they've been healed. They can finally see, they can finally get out that wheelchair. But I've never, ever, ever once ever thought that yeah. I would experience my best friend's knees healed under my hands. Like, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Like, amazing. honestly, I'm amazing. It's amazing. There's no other way to describe it, but amazing is glorious. To stand, to stand here and to be able, I, every, when I wake up, I can feel the difference. And, you know, when I, like, if you have experienced any pain in your life, like, for a long period of time, I think you'll be able to, like, you know, relate to this and understand that once you've experienced pain every day and, like, you just get used to that pain, you start to just get used to it every day so you just start to forget what it's like to be normal and I stand here today I'm normal like oh, I feel free like literally like something just hit me it's just like I, it really like has me speechless it really does because like you see it you know you hear testimonies and you never think I mean you don't really you you kind of in the back of your head you're like I mean, is it? 
is it not? <laughs> but I'm smiling too hard. Because my, God is good. <laughs> my, my, my lip gloss all the way down on my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me check. <laughs> but sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're good, man. God is so good. And I'm just, every day, I just feel like I'm walking in my miracle. I feel like. Um, this is just a testimony that has to be shared and I am willing to answer any questions that you guys have and we hope that you will be receptive and I just pray that you'll open your hearts to this message and it says as Jesus continued on toward Jerusalem he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria as he entered a village there ten men with leprosy stood at a distance crying out Jesus master have mercy on us he looked at them and said go show yourself to the priests." and as they went they were cleansed of their leprosy one of them when he saw that he was healed came back to Jesus shouting praise God he fell to the ground at Jesus feet thanking him for what he had done this man was a Samaritan Jesus asked didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. And I'm here convicted and I know that there is a reason. I'm not sure why and I know that it will be revealed to me here pretty soon. But I know that there is a reason that God entrusted me with this testimony. And um, I cannot withhold the truth of who the Lord is. And um, this is actually something that is very, this is, I'm literally having to cast my fears onto the Lord. This is such a big thing. And I'm like, <clears throat> I rebuke this spirit over myself, but sometimes my flesh takes over and I have the spirit of shyness. And I feel that the Lord is uh, pushing me to be bold and to be fierce and to know that Christ is in me and I am enough. And that I do not have to be the um, finished product in order to share his glory and his word and to share what he has done in my life and like so this is me just laying down laying I'm laying all of my cares unto God I'm giving all my cares unto God and I'm just like I'm just laying it down at the cross and um I feel that he knew that I would do this and um not saying that I'm deserving in any way because I'm not deserving of this that's that's honestly why the feeling of guilt came to me because we are all sinners but I know that condemnation like that is not something that I, I shouldn't be judging so I really shouldn't be judging others or myself it's God's judgment that matters at the end of the day so like I really hope that you guys are receptive and you can like feel the sincerity of my heart and to know that like I'm here for no other purpose but to share the goodness of God. I'm here to share the good news, and I'm healed. She's healed, you guys. I'm healed. <clears throat> like in that scripture, as you heard that, um, you know, where are the other men? Uh, we feel that, you know, the other people who have been convicted, you know, there's people out there that won't share their story, and um, that's really why I feel that God did this. That's why I feel God healed her, her knees, because he knew that we would tell this story. He mm -hmm. knew we would not stay shut. Mm -hmm. He knew that we would not stay quiet. So, you know, here we are here presenting this moment to you guys and sharing this with you guys, because this is a miracle. It is a miracle. And like, as a reference to go back into the scripture that I just read, I also like, I feel that in that scripture, you see that the more than the majority went the other way and the one went back and you notice that when things happen in your life I'm a completely new person sometimes you just have to like shift with God and know that he's almighty God and the father and I am being completely honest in this moment there was a part after I felt healed where I just hit the ground and you guys will see this in the video I hit the ground because I lost my strength after being able to run around and after feeling the effects that there was no more grinding no more pain no more like resistance on my knees no more shifting in my knees after feeling that there I had the urge to run like I just felt a warmth and a rush through my body. I, I felt the Holy Spirit in my body after like agreeing with my best friend and like speaking in tongues. The Spirit went through me and I, I'm being honest. It was like a from the belly of my stomach. I felt something come out of me. It was an uncontrollable feeling to where um, I had to just like I felt like like. There was two people, like, I don't know how to explain it rather than just say it was two people, like, my flesh and, like, 
my yeah. head, like in my head, it was like the flesh, but it was my body, and I had no control of my body, and I was just like speaking in tongues. It was such a beautiful utterance to God, and I, I promise you, like we both started speaking tongues. Like first, I remember you started speaking tongues first. You remember that, and then I start, I opened my mouth to speak it as well, and then all of a sudden it was on cue. Like it was like, <laughs> and then I remember it was like, oh, like both of us just. Like it was like it was like musical, was musical coming chords out of me. It was coming out of our mouth. Like, like and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's the closest. Like I can tell you, heaven is real. If you're listening to me today, throw down all your idols, surrender all to God. Heaven is real. Jesus is real. In that moment, I was convicted. I said, "There's nothing better in the world than this feeling right now." There was a rush within my body. The spirit was with my within my body, and I know that He's with me every day. And I felt Him so powerfully every day. But I know that He's in my body. I know that He's in my mind now. And I just want you guys to know if he did it for me he'll do it for you too not only physically but mentally and like whatever you're doing don't give up the spirit of suicide i rebuke it in the name of jesus i promise you do not give up i promise you everything is worth it now the pain is worth it now everything is worth it now he used my biggest my biggest what i thought was a curse he used that and he turned it into the biggest blessing in my life it's a miracle it's a miracle oh, yeah. god is so good i cannot believe it and what's crazy not crazy but what's really just that i know that god is presence is the, it, the, the how i know i can't even talk because it's just like i just wish i could express the way that i feel in my body the reason why i know that god is present is the boldness that is in me to tell my testimony not only through the camera but in person i went straight to work and i told my boss i did not care i walked in and said i said i'm not gonna well for confidentiality reasons i asked my boss i'm not gonna say her name but i i asked my boss and i i just asked her you know like do you believe in the healing power of jesus and um she told me yes and then i told her my testimony and i'm ready to tell my testimony and i i just feel like i've been i've been called by god for uh, a greater purpose and it's something that i've ran away from um for some time now and i thought that it was just like oh you know <clears throat> you're you're shy that would never be your destiny like you know and it's crazy because in that within your greatest weakness is typically something that is going to be used for your your destiny and it could be that the enemy is trying to confuse you and he's trying to distract you and he's trying to tell you that you're not worthy but you have to remember that you are worthy and you are enough in christ you are enough in christ mm -hmm. you are enough in christ <clears throat> And it's just crazy, like, I didn't tell you this, but it's crazy. We on camera now, so I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. But um, I, for the past couple weeks, I've been praying for a um, some type of connection. So right now, I'm a senior in college, and I found myself, I find myself really confused on what I want to do, you know, when I get out of college. So I've been praying for some type of connection to get further in life, and um, it's crazy because I feel like God really connected me to be a part of this miracle, like literally. And when I went into Ashley's house, Ashley's apartment that day, I never thought that I'd be a part of her testimony. I never thought that I would just break down and start praying over her knees. Like I, we've, we are, we're, we're workout partners. I hear her knees crack. I've heard her knees crack often. Grinding. It, it's just, a, it's just a unpleasant noise. And just this day, you know, she was telling me how she was doing squats in the gym, and she even has like a video of like her doing burpees. <laughs> And um, it's just crazy how everything the works out. The very day, the very day. The, the exact and I almost day. didn't even record that because I was feeling like <laughs> this is it. Like there's no reason for me to. Sorry, I didn't, yeah. but like this is it. Like there's really no reason for me to like show this because I'm not doing anything. But now I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you guys in this video how I'm doing it now. So the video that's being displayed at the top is me on January 26th, that's 2018, that was on Wednesday, and the bottom is me on January 3rd, 2019, and that was eight days after my healing, which is a Thursday. And I wanted to show you guys this clip because I truly feel that God set this up. Um, me at the top, as you can see, I'm hesitating. Um, this isn't something that I really wanted to do in front of the camera, but I felt an urge to do it. So I did. Now I know that that was the Holy Spirit. 
Um, as you can see me at the bottom, I'm doing it with so much more ease and um, it just felt good, you know, but in between my squats, after my second squat at the bottom, you can see me smiling and I'm smiling because I am literally in joy and I just have so much joy and I just feel like I'm walking in my miracle as I said and it just makes me so happy and I just feel so blessed to have been blessed with this testimony and I'm no longer in pain I can get on my knees and pray without hurting anymore I would get on my knees anyways and now I can do it without hurting God is so good I can get on my knees and play with the children that I care for God is so good he is so good no more pain no more pushing to do it I can do it now in peace Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. No, but, um, you know, um, she was showing me how she does her squats. And she was, went down and, and I'm like, oh. like, it was like a loud, like, like, okay, I've heard her knees crack before, but it wasn't that loud. I don't know if it was the echo of the bed. It's probably the cold, like, the cold outside. I don't know what it was. I remember I just said, no, bro, no, bro. Yeah, I remember hearing, no, Jesus. I don't know what I said. And I was like, no, Jesus. Like, And I went over to her knees, and I just laid both hands on each knee. And sorry, I'm missing a nail. And um, both hands on each knee. And I couldn't tell you what I said. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what came out my mouth. The I was speaking in tongues, and, and it's crazy because... Once upon a time ago, I was a little, a little skeptical about tongues and, you know, it wasn't really my style, but what was flowing out my mouth, like, it, it was just an utterance, That's really, the like, that's the only way that you can explain an utterance, like a, it, I can't tell you what I said, but my prayer language was just, vroom, like, on point, like, it I honestly could say in that moment it wasn't me. It wasn't. Mm, it wasn't Gabby. It wasn't and me as well. Like as we were praying, it like as I laid hands on my knees, it was not me either. Like it was like I remember feeling a rush and just <sighs> like oh yeah, and just <laughs> before you know what's crazy is I'm not sure if it's enemy or the guy. I'm not trying to like you know. It, for, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who it was because if it was a while, then I believe that God gave the provision for it. But um, like in that moment, I felt like um, I'm not sure if it was the fact that something was shifting in my knees, but I like started feeling very ticklish. And, you know, I'm not who's tick. Are you ticklish on your knees? Like I'm not tick. I'm usually not ticklish on my knees. Literally all I was doing say, was laying, laying my, my hands. Hand. Yeah, she was just laying on her, her knees. knees. And I was like, kind of like jumping a little bit, like tickling. And I, I wasn't really sure if like, is it like, what's going on? And I was kind of running from it. And then I remember thinking in my mind, I was like, no, you're going to receive this. That's what I'm saying. It was like my body was doing something then what was going on in my mind. And then I was like, okay, you're going to, you're going to receive this right now. You're going to receive this right now. And then in that moment where it's like, it's hard to really remember everything we were praying. But in that moment, I remember thinking, you know, God is good. And you have to know, you know, I say it all the time and it's, you know, there's so many thoughts that we have in our mind. And um, when it comes to your own life, you just kind of think that you're undeserving. You think that, like, he won't do it. For, like, not that I didn't think he wouldn't do it for me, but I didn't think he would do this for me. Like, I knew he was Jehovah Jireh. You know, I knew he was my provider. But I, like, I just... I just thought there was people out there who are ha who have it way worse, and I know that there are people out there who have it way, way, way worse than me in the hospital, all of that. And you know, in that moment, I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna receive this. If he did it for them, he can do it for me. And I have like a different level of faith than I've ever had, and I know that that's the key component of my healing is the fact that I had faith in that moment because at first I was jumping a little bit. And you know, she in my mind, I'm like, she was in me like this going in there, like. <laughs> Don't receive it. Right. <laughs> and then God was like in the other corner. He was no. like, he was like, receive. Because, because you know what? Like in that moment, it was when crazy. you, when yeah. you, you know, you literally like, 
push my hand away. Yeah, like, I was like, he's like, no, that was tickled. Like, I was she's jumping, I was like, push it. it. She was pushing my hand away. But I was away. receiving the prayer, and it was just like, Ooh, But it's, it's like, cool. but, but in no moment in my head was I like, oh, stop. Like, she's mm -hmm. like, stop. Like, no, like, I, I kept going, and, and mm -hmm. it was just such power that was mm -hmm. coming out, like, and literally, like, something just came over me. Like, it, it was, cr I couldn't even tell you the prayer that I prayed, but something just came over me, and something was talking through me. I know that something was God. God. Yeah, God. I, there's no doubt. God is God, Jesus. There's no doubt. Jesus. 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 Because you got to go through the sun first, and it was Jesus. And I'm telling you, say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's Ashley here. I just want to thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I just wanted to also add in that lately I've been hearing God very, very clearly, especially at nighttime. I've been hearing him in statements on January 4th. He said, your faith has been stretched. Um, actually this morning, I'm, I'm going to post this video. It's January 10th. And I heard the Lord say, you have an anointing tap into that favor factor. And last night I heard God say, what are you holding? Why are you withholding the truth of what happened? Um, what are you holding it for? And then um, the confirmation was uh, Mike Todd's. Pastor Mike Todd is the pastor of Transformation Church. And I heard his sermon. And last night it was saying that this year is going to be the season of release. And um, I felt the Spirit tell me that um, not only is it the season of release, release of my strongholds, release of my finances, release of the enlargement of my territory, but I felt him say that I need to release the, this video. I, there's souls that are waiting for this, and I hope that it can help anyone. I just pray that it will give somebody hope and faith to know that God is real. He's present. He did it for me, and he will do it for you too. I pray that you have a blessed day, a blessed day. The what? The AMLD TV way. <laughs> All right, now, y'all. See y'all soon. <laughs>